What's up, Rams? It's a new week, and we're here with another episode of Ram Train News. As you know, I'm your anchor, Tymia Palmer. And now I'm Naomi Mejia. Ram Train News is here to give you the latest news and information on what's going on in your school. So let's get started. Welcome, Welcome back, Ram Nation. Nation. Another day of Ram News. Senior class will be taking their senior portraits Friday morning on November 17th. The pictures will be in this year's yearbook, so seniors make sure those haircuts are sharp and those edges are laid. Last Friday, your tiny Rams took on the Brainerd Panthers. Our Rams successfully defeated the Panthers with a final score of 32 to 8. Each week, Ram Train News will spotlight players who stood out during the game. Here's our players of the week. Keon Webb. He scored two touchdowns and had a total of 10 tackles. Tracy Justice, he had one sack and a total of 12 tackles. Jalen Bowen, he rushed for 50 yards, threw for 150 yards, and added one touchdown. Martavius Ralph, he had a total of nine tackles and had one passing touchdown. Jeremy Elston, he had two touchdowns, rushed for 104 yards on 18 carries, and he also returned a punt for 87 yards for a touchdown. Also, congrats are in favor for Jeremy on being named overall player of the game. Tonight is senior night, and the Tiny Rams will take on cent the Central Purple Pounders, so don't forget to come out and show your support. Rim Chain News would like to congratulate the boys on the victory. Keep up the good work, and let's get the W against Central. If you're not aware of the changes that are soon to come to Tyner Academy, Ram Train News is here to inform you. Starting next month, remodeling to the school will be in effect. Tyner Academy and Tyner Middle Academy will soon merge to form Tyner Middle High. What can you tell me about the meeting you attended to with Dr. Johnson? The meeting that we had yesterday, it showed um, the plan that they have with combining the middle school with the high school and it's going to be um, Seem like it's gonna be a productive plan. Um, basically, he just told us that the schools, they're, they're building another school, basically on this side for the middle school. And it's gonna be more opportunities for the students. Well, from the meeting, there was a lot of questions asked. Uh, one of the priorities was whether, whether or not we're still gonna be a magnet school. And none of that's gonna change. What exactly are these plans? Yeah, going to combine the middle school with the high school. Currently, the middle school, well, that's where CSLA they're going to move into. Um, there will be renovations added to um, Tyner High School. I kept mentioning combining the two Tyner communities because we both are already both rams, so just combining the two communities with uh, each other. Since the middle school, they're going to merge here. Of course, you know, they need a, a new gym, um, cafeterias, uh, expansion of classrooms. They say they're going to start the construction in November or December, so... What do you think about these new renovations? I think it's a good idea. I actually wish that I would be here for it because it's going to be really nice. And overall, it's going to be a, a good thing. Basketball season is approaching, and everyone is pretty excited for the upcoming season. Basketball trials will begin Monday, October 30th, right after school. Monday is the day for all freshmen to come off and show their skills. Tuesday will be for aspiring JV and varsity players. If you are interested in playing, you must have a physical. And words from Coach Ward, if you can't ball, don't come at all. 
This week's quote of the week comes from Michael Jordan, who is a well-known retired professional basketball player, businessman, and principal owner and chairman of the Charlotte Hornets. The quote states, Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out a way to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Well, Rams, that's it week for this episode of Ram Chain News. We hope you enjoyed it, and we can't wait to see you again next week. I'm Naomi Mejia. And I'm Tamia Palmer. Be bright and stay positive, Rams.